Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Femin Show here, back at it once again with our discussion, our uh, post show for the Ubisoft press press conference. Sorry, I am joined once again by Matthew, uh, otherwise known as Phenom Sage. How's it going, Matthew? It's going good. Are you sure? It's going <laughs> five out of ten good. <laughs> You're already a spoiler there, man. You're already, oh, yeah. you're already yeah, giving sorry. out your number. Yeah, you know, it's, it's better that you're prepared for disappointment at the beginning and not at the end. All right, yeah. I right, want to do pros and cons, although there might not be many pros. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, um, you, you, go, you go first this time. I've gone first the last right. two times. Yeah, I already know what you're going to choose. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for me, the like the most obvious, like biggest. <sighs> Uh, pro is the South Park reveal that they did not just to, like the main draw of it was the writing and how funny it was because yeah, it was yeah. hilarious but also it looks like they're changing up the gameplay a little bit too yeah it looks like they were adding some like like different type of turn base a little little reminiscent of Fire Emblem I don't know if you ever played that yeah, played those yeah it's a little bit Fire Emblem-esque it's a little bit XCOM-esque yeah, yeah I was like that's it's, it's, it's a cool, South Park. It's wow. cool twist. It's like now it's not just like the simplistic Paper Mario type gameplay. Yeah, that's true. And I don't know. Again, just the the dialogue because I've never even seen um, Stick of Truth before. Like I saw it at the at the press conference a couple years ago, but I've never like played the game or like oh, I really. Watched, I watched an entire playthrough on that. It was so funny. Yeah, my uh, yeah. I, I just I've never really and I've never really been into South Park, so I'm, I've never been super hyped for that game. But that was hilarious. I was like at one point laughing out loud at that, yeah, that it playthrough. Yeah, it was so, great. Yeah. So uh, one of my um, <laughs> this honestly this is the best part about the entire show in my opinion, and. It's You're not what you think fan. it is. All right, what do you think it? What do you think it is? I think it's. You already told me what it is. What? It's the grow grow up. No, grow home. no, that's my it's second. Not? That's my second. That was like. What? That was like that game's awesome. Grow up looks awesome. Grow home. Huge fan of that game. Super excited. Fun? I literally. What is first. Oh wait. Oh, I know. Okay. I don't Say. think you do. Number. One, do. My number one best. The number one best part about that entire conference was at the very beginning. When they were dancing to Queen for Just Dance 2017, it showed Nintendo NX at the bottom for console oh. release. That's the bet. That's the first time a big developer has even has acknowledged it. Mentioned it, yeah. And I, they just—it's so weird. Like they just showed that, and then it just like went away. Okay, yeah, let's keep going with it. And I thought that was so weird. And it was weird, but I I liked that they mentioned it at least. And you know what? The sad part is. That was the best part of the conference for me. The rest, eh. uh, gr again, Grow Up looked really cool. I liked the title. It looked like they were doing something interesting with, like, instead of having to uh, pick up flowers and stuff to glide down, it looks like you have, like, jetpacks now or, like, gliders yeah. already on you, which look really cool. Um, that simplistic art style looks like it's coming back. Looks like they're adding a little, a little more to it. They mentioned that the worlds are going to be a lot bigger. You're trying to go to the moon now, I believe. Um, and you no longer have uh, Mom with you, so... Be cool. It's gonna be cool. I'm super excited about that. Uh, obviously, another game that was really cool was For Honor. What did you think of that? I thought it was awesome. It was Is that probably it? my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like I thought it was awesome. That's all I, I think I think that's the best game they showed. To be honest, like I, I mean, when you're talking gameplay wise, I mean, I think that's probably the best they showed. I know you're you're super yeah, like, fan the of the demo. The demo that they showed is definitely. I would say the best display of gameplay. Yeah, and the announcement of the actual campaign itself was pretty surprising because I thought that was an only online I game. Thought it, yeah, me too. I am so surprised that as a campaign and so happy too. Yeah, it looks really good. Do you think that that game is going to get downgraded? Uh, it's hard to say because from the gameplay that I saw, it didn't look like it, it got downgraded too much from last year. Yeah, it looked really good. Um, like the lighting, um, the rain falling down. Yeah. And the overall combat, too, just looked really refined. I'm not sure how it plays yet. I'm probably going to watch some stage demo stuff. I am kind of looking forward to that, to you know, see that on other media outlets, see how the game actually plays, you know, have the developers sit down and yeah. you know, describe it and everything. Really excited about that. Um, psh, I'm trying to think of something else that was good. <laughs> um, I, thought, I thought there were parts of the Ghost Recon Wildlands that I did enjoy. Okay, yeah. For me, it was... The, con the vehicle combat yeah. in particular was super cool. I like yeah. that. Yeah. What I didn't like was just how unbelievably similar it is to Phantom Pain. Like, to the T. Like, literally, like, they would use that scope and then, you know, 
mark them, mark the enemies, and then go in stealthy. Even like the the I don't know. It just looked too much like Metal Gear Solid to the point where I was like, whoa, like yeah. what's going on here? Um, <laughs> yeah, what you're saying is like matching up really well with the gameplay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I don't know. I and I, I like the way that the ve- vehicle combat looked. That looked really cool. I feel like Definitely. the graphics there look really good too, like the reflection off the vehicles and I stuff. I think the graphics when you're in the vehicle are good, but on foot I don't think they look as good. It looked it looked kinda bland. The textures and stuff looked a little It looks I'm looking at the textures right now on the walls and stuff and it looks like blurry. Like I can't tell anything. Yeah. So I I don't know. I'm I'm really really not interested in that game. I'm not gonna me lie. Either. I'm yeah. really. And I would me, only play it for the vehicle combat. Yeah, and the movements. I hate. That's why I hate the division. Is it's the really movements? Stiff. They're so stiff and so procedural. Like, it's like there's only whenever you climb up something. Like that's the only animation for that climbing like up just something. Just one. Yeah. Yeah, and it's I, like I, I can can't stand that. The mocap like one more time. Yeah, like it just looks so bland. Like and like you're kind of facing diagonally away from it. You know, like push you straight and then it'll climb up the way it's like intended to and i can't stand that yeah me um either. so yeah I, I guess that's a highlight um disappointing things what is what is the worst part about this conference by far well i wanted to there's one i wanted to say that um the final game that they showed with uh, steep i thought it looked it looked good mm-hmm. it looked good it's not it wasn't like typical like ubisoft always ends with like mind-blowing shit and, yeah uh, yeah it, it wasn't mind-blowing it was just it was good they kept saying that this was like a new genre a new world to explore a whole new thing and it got me super pumped and then when he said uh, you know the world of extreme sports i was like oh uh, okay um all How right is that gonna work uh, yeah and then they said open world and i was like really like what's going on here and then when they showed it i wasn't like disappointed but i just i don't i don't know like i wasn't I just wasn't excited. Like, not, it just what they showed didn't really like the grab only, my attention too much. Like the only like really cool parts I thought were, first of all, the first person looks insane. Yeah, the like, GoPro looks, view. Yeah, that like I, I already said it, but like the VR with that kind of view and that kind of event is would be insane. It like, would kill that's you. That's what VR is for. If at PlayStation's conference, at Sony's press conference, literally a couple hours from now, if they announce VR support for that game that would be pretty cool like on psvr that would be awesome like that would be a good time to do any more about that game it comes uh, out in december though that's the crazy part i don't know if you're gonna yeah that is crazy but i don't know if you're gonna hear any more about it tomorrow or I mean, yeah. tonight yeah but but uh what else also it, i think i think the um the bales were like fucking awesome oh yeah that was hilarious it was hilarious and like just the ragdoll physics looked pretty good too it like, looked it reminded me of uh i thought about it and it reminded me of skate Skate, yes, so the whole it, game reminds me of Skate. Yeah, the looks, whole game, the, reminds the me good parts skate. and the bad parts of Skate, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, Skate was always kind of, and no offense to that game, I mean, that was a long time ago, but it was kind of like an empty game. It felt kind of empty, like the world itself. I haven't gone back to it since I played it. Like, oh, when it first I, I, released, did, I, I remember I, loving it. Yeah, I, I played it like a, a maybe a year and a half ago. Like, that was the first time I played it. So that might be a little unfair to say, but it just it seems like that kind of a world. Wait, which one did you play? The first one or three? I think it was three. I'm not I can't even remember. I haven't played three. I just remember skate one and two, like I really enjoyed those games. I uh, yeah. I, I don't know. It just kinda of, it's rem it's kinda of hard not to be reminisced of skate three when it comes to any extreme sport game. That's um a- the worst part for me, the worst part of this press conference was just the talking. Yeah. Good lord, your mic made like a really weird whistling sound that was like. I, yeah, I whistled. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the talking was disgusting. Like, not that they didn't have anything good to say, it just went on and on and on. Way too long. Good and that lord. just goes into not even just the talking, but the pacing of the conference was yeah. terrible. Oh my god. It was genuinely awful. Why would they show? It wasn't Microsoft here, where like they kept rapid firing shit. Yeah. Like they kept taking breaks and like yeah. talking about shit when everybody already knew what they were saying. Yeah, I really didn't like that. Um, the fact that they went that in depth with Watch Dogs, even though they already showed it, was really disappointing to me. Like yeah. I like, I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna judge the game fully. I mean, it looks decent. Like it looks like a, it could be a really good game, but we've already seen it, and they're like talking about stuff that was already in the trailer in that whatever that developer diary they, that yeah, they, they did. Yeah, they showed way too much of Watch Dogs, so everything they showed today was just like, seriously, I'm 
yeah. fucking bored right now. Yeah, and I, I will continue to say this. If they announced Watch Dogs at this press conference, announced Watch Dogs 2, with the, the stuff that they showed at the press conference, I would have been floored. Like, I would have been like, wow. Like, floored. this is. I don't know about floored, but it would have <laughs> stole the show, definitely. Like, it would have been, like, the game that, like, everyone's talking about. It would have been awesome, but it Even was just... Even with that, I feel like South Park still would have stolen from me, but I, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, it just... It, it would have been much more enjoyable if that was yeah. the first time seeing the game, because I would have had a better impression... It would have made a better impression on me if that was the first time. Um, some of the stuff was pretty cool. Again, I still love the weapon that uh, the main character, Marcus, I believe, uses. It's like a cue ball tied to, like, an extension cord, and he, like, swings yeah. it around and stuff. Um, and the ending, the ending was cool. Yeah, the ending was cool. Whenever was like he pulled the gun out and started shooting, like that's when it got exciting. The guy that was playing the game was playing it very stealthy and very boring, boring. and I hate the drone stuff too. That was really just unexciting. He kept doing it for no reason. Too. Yeah, just like he would just pull it out just to like show it off, and it was pointless, and I really didn't like that. So I don't know. It doesn't look terrible, but well, I mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna get it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, there's just too many other good games coming out. Um, yeah, I think it was a pretty subpar show, to be honest. They didn't show anything that had bite to it, the, in my opinion. The Assassin's Creed movie was very disappointing. Oh my... With, with why do they nice. show that at E3? Like, yeah. why? It's not the place. That is not the place to do that. Literally nobody there in the audience are, like, they're not part of the movie press. Like, that's not their job. They're gaming press people there. They get paid to talk about video games, not movies. So, I mean, maybe some, I don't know. But still, like, that, it's just not the place to do it. Like, And what they showed was still, like, not even that cool to me. Like, It was just behind-the-scenes stuff. Like, yeah. if they had shown a new trailer, I would have accepted it, kind of, but... If they showed was... the game and then revealed the new Assassin's Creed... Like, if they showed the movie, then revealed the new Assassin's Creed game... Yeah, that's the worst part about it, is that it wasn't even connected to a new game. Yeah. If they showed a new game, that would have it would have redeemed that, and I would have understood that decision to put that in the press conference. But they didn't... Yeah. I, I just I don't know that was whack that was just get that out of here that was whack I did not like that yeah I didn't either so you're giving this press conference a five out of out of five five out of a uh, full of five out of five yeah <laughs> it was perfect okay um <laughs> gosh I don't know if it had that same kind of impact on me I'm thinking I'm going to give it I think about a, I think a five out of, out of ten sounds about right to be honest yeah I think that sounds it wasn't terrible like it wasn't like the worst thing ever it was nowhere near as bad as ea ea was still by far so bad just the way the just the pretentiousness of those of those those hosts i just hate so much like i don't like when those guys talk but these people at least they're they're saying meaningful things like they seem like they have a lot of heart um aisha taylor is really really cool she has like this hype factor going on like where she can really bring stuff up um which is which is cool and um yeah, and at the beginning with the Just, the Just Dance the thing, Just Dance. with yeah. the Queen song, that was really, really cool. Like, I don't really care glad about that they game. they did it that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, instead of, you know, Taylor Swift or Katy Perry or something, I'm glad they actually yeah. had good music behind it. Um, and it's coming to NX, so that's pretty exciting. Coming to NX. <laughs> I guess we know that NX can handle uh, Just Dance. But that is incredible. That I'm pretty sure that we could, too. Uh, so. Do you think that's a bad sign? <laughs> that the uh, only game confirmed for NX is a game that has already been on Wii U anyways. Yeah. What's the release date for that game? Did you know? Did you, did you... I think it was next year. Maybe it's a launch. If it's a launch title for NX, good job. Like, that's a good launch title. I mean, it's a good... Reaching a different demographic. It's an okay <laughs> launch title. I mean, I mean, not... I mean, they'd have more than one game, obviously, but it, it would... I mean, you, you want a launch window to, you know, reach a broad audience, you know, with different types of games, you know, shooter... Definitely. a platformer and i think having that in there along with a bunch of other games would be quite well so yeah yeah i could see it working anyway i think that just about wraps it up here um all in all meh just meh, meh. i don't i don't yeah, think it was meh. boring it was just really boring um sony's press conference is a couple hours away i'm super hype about that super hyped so that's get- basically the end of e3 <laughs> if you don't count if you don't count like live streams tomorrow wait, wait for nintendo man i'm super excited for that's nintendo a live st- that's like a treehouse though. it's still gonna be awesome it's still gonna all right be- all right all right anyway guys thank you very much for watching stay tuned for our reaction to the sony press conference it's just a few hours away we'll try to get that uploaded later tonight and uh yeah that's pretty much it so stay tuned for more e3 videos See you later, guys. Oh, God.